Hello, and welcome to Art Minutes. I'm Patricia Tomlinson, curator at the Appleton Museum of Art. Today, I would like to introduce you to a really beautiful bowl that is a roughly 2,000 years old. It was created by ancient peoples who lived in the Nazca region on the southern coast of Peru. When we look at a larger image of this bowl, we see that there are some kind of creatures or animals along the top, and then what appear to be heads in a band along the bottom of the bowl. Let's look at this a little more closely. When we look at the top register with all the animals, we notice that they seem to have teeth, and then when we follow along to the ends of their bodies, they seem to have some type of tail. These are believed to be killer whales. The waters off the coast in this area are cool, and it's very hospitable to marine life, so it is highly likely that these ancient peoples were encountering sea life such as killer whales. When we look at the bottom register, we see that there are a series of human heads with no bodies. These ancient peoples took trophy heads of vanquished enemies and kept them. There are a lot of theories as to why that was. It was probably for some type of spiritual purpose. So this vessel as a whole seems to have religious meaning. Perhaps the killer whales were seen as special figures spiritually. You also, of course, have the heads of vanquished enemies. Um, in addition, there's very little wear on this piece at all, so it was probably never actually used in life, but created specifically to be an item in the grave. Let's talk a little bit about the production of ceramic vessels in this area in ancient times. The pottery wheel was not used, it was unknown, and most vessels were made with the coil and scrape method. In addition, the pigments were all natural and were made from minerals such as various colors of iron oxide. They would have been fired at a low temperature, and so this is considered earthenware. The bright colors on this vessel are also typical of the Nazca region. They are known for their beautiful polychrome wares and their pottery, such as bowls, drinking vessels and such, were all decorated with these beautiful polychrome painted depictions. Thank you for listening, and I look forward to sharing more Art Minutes with you soon. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.